Hello everybody and welcome back to another new and noteworthy mod review. Today we're going to take a look at a trio of mods all by TF2020 mods. Uh, this is basically a enhancement to the fertilizing system within the game. It adds two new fill types and adds a lot of interesting new gameplay possibilities. So I am talking about the AI fertilizer extension, compost tea and compost so for the first time and i have to say i think farm sim history this video is making history people uh, we have the ability to add compost to any map without having to make any map edits we can add compost to any map we can make compost we can sell compost we can buy compost we can spread compost and this is now expanded to a liquid product that I didn't even know about called compost tea, which basically takes compost, aerates it with water, and you get a liquid type compost that you can use on your fields as fertilizer as a pretty darn cheap alternative to traditional liquid fertilizers. Now, I think historically, uh, the way the map author lists it in the mod hub is compost tea can also be used a bit as a natural herbicide but with respect to the gameplay what it's going to do here is it's going to fertilize so let's take a look at how these mods work so first up let's talk about compost tea so compost tea is something that we have to buy at this point we cannot make it but man i hope I hope TF2020 Mods is working on a compost tea building or a system that allows you to make compost tea. And if he is or if he isn't, either way, I hope he makes use of the GTX production script that is kind of in the GTX um, pig food machines or the, um, the silage fermenting silo from GTX because that would be great. Uh, that would basically allow you to, the way I understand it, input compost, input water, maybe even input diesel fuel to run the aerator, and then basically produce compost tea. That would be absolutely amazing. Now, let's go Ted and take a look at this stuff in the shop. So compost tea can only be purchased at this point, but first let's take a look. Liquid fertilizer tank, $3,200 for 2,000 liters. Compost tea, 2,000 liters for 250 bucks. Now this one, compost tea profi, uh, this is a reusable pallet, 2,000 liters for $500. So you may say, well, why do I need a reusable container if I can only buy it? Well, that is because... In the compost tea mod entry on the mod hub, there are several required mods listed. Now, I will say three of these mods aren't technically required for the raw gameplay of this particular mod, but are going to be required to really extend and enhance this mod to its greatest potential. And those are the HS 10.5 tank trailers by TF20 Mods, the Coon Interactive Sprayers by TF20 Mods, the Hardy Interactive Sprayers by TF20 Mods, and the AI Fertilizer Extension by TF20 Mods. And I have to say, I think, I'm pretty sure TF20 Mods went by a different name at some point in time because I was pretty sure those other mods were by someone else. Just not recalling who that was at the moment. But the AI fertilizer extension we'll talk about that here in a moment but it basically adds compost and compost tea to all the in-game manure spreaders and crop protection sprayers but what we're talking about here we're talking about the hs 10.5 tanks and this allows you to basically transport liquid fertilizer herbicide and now compost tea so you can transport that around in these tankers and it also lets you offload the liquid from these this tanker into containers again then we have the pf um 
Kuhn Interactive Sprayers, and that basically is a modded variant of the Kuhn in-game sprayers that allows you to unload the material. But typically the in-game sprayers don't let you unload them once they are loaded, but these let you basically load them and unload them um, to the tanker as opposed to straight to a pallet. Then we have the pull behind. Then we also have the Hardy Navigator Interactive Sprayers. Again, these allow you to either unload into the tank or unload to a pallet. So let's go kind of demonstrate this. I think this first pallet is a disposable pallet, one that goes away. the compost T down there in the field type. So that is a usable pallet. Now we have compost tea. Now this is just a standard in-game sprayer. Take this down to a field and uh, show you how it's gonna work. I need to run over to a field that I have already used the precision farming stuff on because I have that activated. I'll be right back with you. Well, here I am down on field 23. Got my compost tea. Turn it on and we are rocking and rolling. Now, a little bit of a public service announcement with respect to precision farming and the compost compost tea mod the base precision farming does not know what compost and compost tea is so i am not since i have precision farming enabled i am not getting a fertilizer benefit as a result okay let me show you this and then i'll explain to you why See, I'm not getting any benefit from that spray. And that is because precision farming doesn't know about compost and compost tea. It does not know what basically to do with respect to those fill types and how much nitrogen to add to the soil. So I'm hoping, hoping that TF20 Mods has some plan to incorporate uh, precision farming support for this. I mean, it could be done right now if you go in and edit your precision farming mod to basically copy, let's say, the slurry entry for uh, precision farming and to copy the manure entry for precision farming and then change those fill types from manure to compost and change it from slurry to compost tea, then it should work. But this video is not going to cover how to do that. It is going to be long enough just trying to cover as a high level all of the pieces and parts of this new fertilizing system with compost, compost tea, and the AI fertilizer extension. So, let me get back up to where I was before, and uh, we'll continue on with talking about the compost tea mod, and then we'll move into the compost mod. So now I have one of the HS 10.5 tank trailers, and you may be thinking to yourself, if I have to use 2,000 liter pallets for all of my compost tea usage, I'm not going to use that mod because, well... Gosh darn it, I've got big fields, and 
I need a bulk way of buying compost tea. Well, you're in luck, people. You are in luck because included with the compost tea mod, we have a sell point, a buy point, and a storage point. Now, I wish, I really do wish, I knew which one these were. I thought I knew which one they were about 45 minutes ago when I put them down, but now I don't remember. Pretty sure this, the middle one is storage. Let's just try this. Money's not going up, so okay. There we go. 21,000 liters. This one is our buy point. Pretty cheap to buy, and let's go over here and sell it. Then I'll show you this stuff in the store. We are, we're selling it. Our money is ticking up. So while that's happening, let's show you the placeables here on a miscellaneous. We have our compost tea. So we have compost tea export, where we can sell compost. Compost tea storage, again, 21,000 liters, and compost tea import, where we can buy compost tea. Let's go buy a full tanker load and see how much this costs. I've got a feeling it's going to be cheap. All right, so 10,500 liters for $266. So that is compost tea. So that is a very cheap and easy way of basically doing organic liquid fertilizer in Farm Sim 19. Now, let's talk about compost. Up to this point, compost was something that would be added to a map. Couldn't really just plop it into any map with any old mod. But here we do. We have it now. So let's take a look at the pieces and parts of compost. So there are placeables. Let's go on over here. We have several compost placeables. We have compost export profi, compost, compost export easy. Small Compost Export Profi, or basically Pro. Then we have Small Compost Export Easy, Compost Import Profi, and Compost Import Small Profi, Compost Import Easy, and Small Compost Import Easy. We have the Compost Heap. So let's talk about these. So this is the large variant. I'm not gonna, I didn't buy each and every single one of them. This is the large. This is what large looks like. Large is this big. This happens to be the export profi version. The export easy version would allow you to just pull up in front of this and sell it. The profi version, you have to get right up here into the heap in order to sell the product. This is the small export profi placeable. So again, I only put down one large and one small. Give you just kind of a size comparison between the two. They're both functional the exact same way. Again, the easy export variant of those sizes. The only difference is that you, uh, you can unload in front of the placeable versus having to basically back into the placeable. Let me show you how to unload here. So this cannot be performed here. If we move in closer, there we go, now we're unloading, and we're getting some money. The same would hold for the large variant. 
Prices will fluctuate a little bit, just given the economies within the game. And these placeables will allow you to sell it greater than the end game sell points. So let's talk about that too. Let's go to the prices screen. And you'll see we have our compost T and our compost is registered in the prices screen. We can pretty much sell compost T anywhere that we have a sell point for sugar beets. So basically it's adding itself to any sell point that sells sugar beets. Of course, our compost T export has been added here as well. And then we have our compost. We have the compost export profi being added and registered right here. And then we have the small compost export profi being added right there to the list in the prices screen on top of the other four areas that accept sugar beets. Just to demonstrate that, I do happen to have a tractor up here with a load of compost. Go ahead and sell it, just to demonstrate that we are indeed able to sell compost at just a regular sell point. Go, $165. See, they are registered here. We have small compost profi, the normal one. We have our compost tea profi, compost tea import, and our compost tea storage. You may ask yourself, how do I make compost? And buy compost. I can sell compost. I want to be able to make compost. And yes, the belts do work. I do work to load this up because I use the belts to load up that trailer. So let's take a look at the compost heap. $12,500. Let's put that down right here. And what we need to do is take an organic material. I happen to have grass here. You could take manure about anything probably straw will work just like any other keep we're going to come back in here we're going to do a force unload and you see it's converting to manure we pull up the f1 menu we do have a compacting and you'll see it compacts super fast we are already at 100. You just got to barely touch it. And we're going to come back here. We're going to blanket it with R. And it's going to take about a day and a half to ferment fully into compost. When it is done fermenting, you just come in here, hit R to uncover it. And at that point, you can pick it up just like you would anything else. The bucket with a belt and you can then either sell the compost like we just demonstrated or you can actually use the compost so here we've got a samson manure spreader we've got it loaded with our compost and we are spreading away i can hire a helper there we go. Now we are putting compost down on our field. Again, if you're playing without precision farming, you're going to get a fertilizing layer to this. If you're playing with precision farming, this mod, as it's released to date, is not going to work for you unless you go in and customize your precision farming mod. You basically know what to do with compost and compost tea so one more mod and well you're seeing it work right here you're actually seeing it work right here the ai fertilizer extension mod adds 
compost and compost tea to every in-game manure spreader for compost and for compost tea to every sprayer. So if we take a look here in the shop, let's go to manure spreaders. You can see that compost has been added to every single in-game manure spreader, including the Alpine farming pack. If we look here at crop protection, you'll see compost tea has been added to every single in-game sprayer. And it should be automatically added to any modded manure spreader and sprayer, assuming that they have been set up properly to begin with. It also allows, obviously, AI to work with compost and compost tea filled items. So guys, that is it. That is compost in a nutshell, compost tea in a nutshell, and the AI fertilizer extension mod to basically allow compost and compost tea to be registered by all of the in-game vehicles and implements that would typically use manure and liquid fertilizer. This mod is a massive, or these three mods are a massive thumbs up in my opinion. Well, let me know what you think in the comments below. And be sure, if you like this mod, not only just download it, give it a rating in the in-game mod hub. And until next time, happy farming. Be sure to like, subscribe, and click that notification bell.